Hey, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Elisha Comfort, and um, this week's uh, Fabric Week was traditional, and we were asked to do briefs at Badasset. Um, <laughs> let me start by explaining. No, let me start by my reaction to the news first. <laughs> I was, when I heard traditional, I was very glad because I wanted to show, you know, my background. <laughs> but then we were now limited to Agbada. I'm like, no, now, you might why? Because <laughs> I, was, I was waiting to see what everybody was going to bring out. But then as I started thinking about the whole Agbada thing, different ideas started running through my head. And naturally, myself, I would not wear an Agbada on the normal, I would never wear it. So uh, that was what brought my idea into place. An Agbada that can also go for an Abaya. Um, so let's start with my kaftan. Because if I start with the Agbada, my cap will fall out. <laughs> and I like my cap. Um, so my kaftan, as you can see here, I used um, Kinti. And that's because I'm um, Afghanian, Af Nigerian. Um, Yes, yeah, so on this my uh, design I have on my kaftan, I used uh, two Adinkra symbols, they are Ghanaian symbols, which have, they have idioms attached to them, and um, one of them is the, uh, the boards of Kula, and the other one is uh, the symbol of goodwill, good fortune. So the Kula one represents um, abundance and wealth so um, I put these two together to um, how would I put it encourage myself and let everyone know that no matter what you're doing you're going somewhere and goodwill will always follow you good fortune no matter what there will be struggles along the way but that's why I put these carries together to show strength and togetherness. That no matter what happens, we'll come out abundantly. Mm -hmm. And for my sleeves, I made some designs using the lemon fabric on it. In fact, this coffee, they have story behind it. Mr. Abiodun and I, this wasn't the initial design I wanted to do. I wanted to do one mad design. But even my instructor could not even bring out that design to tell you how bad it was. I wasted fabric and time. I used the old day to try to get that design out, but it didn't come out well. I'm still going to practice it though, because I must get that thing. But I'm, I'm still glad with this one. It still looks nice. It still looks classy. And I'm very glad because it's so neat. People didn't even believe I did this placket myself. People were asking me if Mr. Abiyodun sold it for me, and I'm like, no, oh, I did it myself. So I'm proud of this. And then, for the main work, my brother, let me put it on. everybody as you can see you'll be wondering why I have so much embroidery on it it's because of my initial design for the Agbada as you can see it's like a very you know street Yoruba <laughs> <Well -human. laughs> but then at the same time with this my Agbada I can make it into an Abaya want to watch it let me show you <laughs> I have my belt. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is tuck it in here. This. <laughs> this is nice. 
I mean, please. It's not easy to be a designer. Yes, it's not. Please, let everybody know you are a designer. But my contact right now, you see my WhatsApp messages, I don't be entering like this. Anyway, I'm so thankful to Jimai for this opportunity. I mean, this is amazing. And I'm really proud of myself.